I'm going to show you how the XSS in Skype for iOS can be used to steal a user's address book. The vulnerability exists in the user's full name value, so that is where the cross-site scripting code needs to be placed. I'm going to send a user on an iPhone a message, and when he sees the message, the exploit will run. On the top left, there is a connection to a server where you can see any data being sent or received from it. So when the exploit code is run, the victim's iPhone will automatically make a new connection to my server to grab a larger payload, instructing the victim's iPhone to upload its entire address book file to the server. In a moment, you'll see the results of the attack. Now we can see the entire address book file being uploaded to the server, Base64 encoded. It takes a while, and the user is none the wiser to what is going on. It looks like it's finished. I'm going to check the server's file contents and there's the file. I'm downloading it locally and I'm going to open it up into the SQLite browser. I open up the SQLite browser and I can see the different tables in the address book which is contained in a SQLite database. Queries can be run against the address book to get any of the data that's inside of it. For more information, you can go to my blog at superevr.com.